Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's a girlfriend and we'll go back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day. So if there's something that you guys want us to react to, let us know by dropping the link in the comment section below, and we'll be more than glad to do it for you. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. things that we learn as meditators since we're talking about sound is om chanting and all auspicious occasions we start with om and why why that what is what is the significance of om itself uh, it's a marriage of the three sounds <laughs> these three sounds are the only three sounds that the human system is capable of. Other sounds are only a mixture of this. You just experiment with yourself. If you remove this tongue or if you just keep it still, not using it, you will see the only three sounds that you can utter are a, ah, u and m, mm, the only three sounds you can make without the tongue. Tongue is being used to mix these three sounds and produce all the other manifestations of sounds. Mixing them in permutations and combinations, you can produce millions of sounds. So these three sounds are known as the basic sounds or the fundamental sounds in the existence. There are beautiful stories telling like this, if Shiva sits and utters three arms, a whole new creation will happen. It is not about… see, these things need not be looked at as a factual thing that is Shiva sat there and did he utter three arms, that is not the point. What is being said is the whole existence is a reverberation. This is modern science. It's a vibration of energy. Where there's a vibration, there is bound to be a sound. Where there is a sound, there is creation. So all these sounds are a manifestation of these three sounds. These three are the root sounds. Like today we know, that uh, if you take a color television, there are only three color webs. Using these three color webs, we can produce every other color. Similarly, using these three sounds, you can produce every other sound. I think uh, in the system of music that he has grown up, I think the first sound is always ah, simply ah, 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 ah. So in India, we have this thing that for children, we teach the sound ah. That's why amma, appa, this one, that one, whatever, everything is ah, 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 because A ah is the basic sound and it's not in one language, across the world, everywhere sound A ah is the basic sound. So these three sounds, if you utter them, they have different things happening in the body. These three sounds are the only three sounds that exist in the system naturally. All other sounds you can produce by mixing. If you utter these three sounds carefully, if you sit in a certain way and utter these three sounds, you will notice if you utter A, ah, it carries the reverberation right across the body. It starts just about three-fourths of an inch below the navel and takes it right through the body because this is the only place where in the energy system, as there is a physical body, there is an energy body. This energy body comprises of seventy-two thousand nadis. These seventy-two thousand nadis meet only at one place, that is just beneath the navel. So this is the maintenance center in the body, this is known as the Manipuraka in the yoga. This is the maintenance center, even when you were in your mother's womb, your maintenance pipe was connected right here. So this is the sound ah. If you say ah, it spreads right across the body. These sounds have also been identified or ascribed to different forms of divinity. This is Vishnu's sound, his maintenance. <laughs> You know, among the three forces of Brahma, Vishnu and Shiva, Brahma is the creator, Vishnu is the maintenance person, Shiva is the destroyer. These are three fundamental processes in creation. Sound A ah is concerned with maintenance. So people who are seeking well-being start off A. Ah. 
There are yogis who simply sit here and do hmm, nothing else because they are not interested in that. They are just interested in destroying the limitations of who they are, nothing else. So, the nadis themselves carry reverberations. If you utter O, oh, the sounds will spread in a certain way. If you utter um, they spread in a different way. These three sounds are capable of touching all the seventy-two thousand nadis. This is something, uh, we have done it in a limited way, but we can explore this in a very big way. For every sound, we can make you conscious as to which part of the body touches. Which nadi will become active when you utter a certain sound? If you say, hey, what happens in the body? You know, I'm… very rudimentary sounds I'm using when you're meditating, I say, hey, that's all <laughs> I cannot sing like him, if I could, I would have done that for you, but because I cannot sing, I say, hey <laughs> Because every sound activates a certain dimension of your energy system. So these three sounds together as a combination activates the whole system because these are the three fundamental sounds. All other sounds are a manifestation. Some very fabulous experiments on the laboratory level has been done these days. How these three sounds can actually produce every other sound, three instruments producing these three sounds, other instruments which mix these sounds, just as your tongue is doing, it produces every other sound. There's one person in Chennai who's doing a phenomenal amount of research in this direction. So, sounds can be used for well-being, for health. Just uttering, uh, I don't know if they've recognized that but if you… Uh, if he goes on singing many ragas, I will tell you, if you sing this raga, your blood pressure will go down. You understand? Right now, I don't know the names of the raga, I am completely ignorant of those things, but if he sings various ragas, I will tell you, this raga, if you sing, your blood pressure will go down right now. And you can check it. One fifteen minutes raga for the singer and the listener, your blood pressure will go down. People are experiencing in a concert. They may not be medically, you know, uh, measuring it, but people are experiencing, they listen to something and they become like this. They listen to a certain sound and become loving, they listen to a certain sound and become joyful, they listen to a certain sound and become aggressive. This is happening, isn't it? <laughs> this is happening, isn't it so? Sounds are creating not only emotions, they also are changing the very chemistry of your system. So what kinds of sounds you're exposed to does various things to you or what kinds of sounds you are generating also s produces… does various things to you. Why? One of the first things that you do, if you want to go on spiritual sadhana, first thing is shut up. Because stop uttering all the ugly sounds, just shut up. You just stop talking, so many things about you will change. Simply because you are no more causing the damage by uttering wrong sounds. So the classical… Indian music is a… to a mathematical precision has recognized which sound can do what. And they have evolved these things in such path. I feel unfortunately there are exponents of music who know it by experience. There are certain uh, half-baked scientists who know something about the sounds and they know the benefits, they measured this and that. But there is no one person who is… Like him, at the same time, I'm a scientist who can do all those things. When that happens, it'll be good or at least if two people get together like that, it'll be good, where all these things can be explained in modern terminology. Right now, what he does is purely in experiential sense. People know it happens, but if somebody comes and asks questions, how does it happen, they don't know. They say, it's all your rubbish emotion, that's all. You too identify with your Indian nonsense, so it happens to you <laughs> It needs to be put… put out, somebody needs to work on this, where it is expressed as today's science understandings. Today's science has a very rudimentary expression. Why I say this is, today's science has survived only because of technological devices it has produced. If it does not throw out gadgets, Nobody would value this science because it has no life significance of any kind, except for producing conveniences and comforts. So this is a different kind of science. Now, sing, sitting here and singing about Shiva, what will you get? Nothing you'll get. 
but life will happen. I thought we came here so that life happens to us, not because we get a camera or a cell phone or a, some damn thing. We came here because we want life to happen to us, isn't it? The only reason why a human being is alive here is because he wants life to happen to him. So this is a science of making life happen to you. This is not a science of producing this and that. That also could be done, actually. Using the sounds, that also could be done. But that's not the focus, that's never been the focus of this culture. This is about making life happen in highest level of intensity and beauty. And music is the closest thing to meditativeness that way. For more on mystics of India, click the subscribe button and subscribe to the channel. Press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. interesting video of actually heard Sadhguru mention things that I've actually never heard him mention. What religion does he belong to or does he even belong to any religion? Um, when it comes to music, music is a powerful tool is what I think by now with everything that's going on most of us should know and for those of us that know, make it your aim to educate other people about music and everything that goes on music like he said if you listen to something today it could make you feel happy sad angry aggressive you name it music controls i don't even know what exactly it controls but then it will tap into your emotions and sometimes it directs you to the right path sometimes it may lead you astray you end up doing the wrong things it's up to you how you use this um knowledge every video is a learning point for everyone for me for you i hope as well and yeah a big shout out to the person that suggested this make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video